pancakes for breakfast. I have some chocolate chips and then some chia seeds in there. And I'm about to show you guys a major plug when you're making pancakes. Get some brown sugar and sprinkle it on like the opposite side that's not cooking and it will make it it'll like the sugar will like caramelize and get crispy and sugary and it's so freaking good so major plug for making the pancakes try this and you will thank me it's honestly so good My pancakes are done and you can see how like the brown sugar gets like all crispy and caramelized and so freaking good. So good. Yes, ma'am. Oh my gosh, I'm back looking <laughs> crazier than before. <laughs> But I made a little dinner. I made a little din. My hair, this is where we're at with my hair. I need to wash it. It's pretty much what I need to do. I need to wash it, so disregard it. Made dinner. Made a little salad moment. There's like tomato, spinach, romaine, a little cheese, uh, cranberries, beets, a little croutons, and then I added, I got this, um, I'll show you. I got this tzatziki dip from Trader Joe's and it's very interesting. They're like actual like whole cucumbers in it. So it's like less of a dip. I guess it's still a dip, but I wasn't expecting there to be cucumbers. So I put some of that on my salad. I think it'll be a vibe. And then here are the meatless chicken nugs that I got from uh, Target. So maybe I'll do a little like on-screen taste test to see if they're actually delicious. I'm gonna dip it in the barbecue sauce first. Or maybe I should dip it in the ketchup for neutral. No, okay, here we go. Is that crunch? Mmm. Hold up. Mmm. Okay. Okay. Mmm. You know what? Those are very good. They're actually so good. I'll definitely buy these again. Great little, little chicken nugget alternative. Hi. So I got this delicious chicken from Trader Joe's. It's the Mandarin Orange Chicken. It comes with like two like sauces. Like they're the same, but like two packs of sauce and a bunch of chicken. And I'm gonna make some broccoli. And let's see. Ah, I think I'm gonna do this ramen. This ramen, kids. Let me give you the plug. This ramen is the best ramen. Now I haven't tried all of the ramen, but like I get this at my local like Asian market, and it's so freaking good. Gives you a huge pack of noodles. The um, like the spice packet is really spicy. It's good with like. To make it as a soup or not um but that's what we're gonna make today so this is what the chicken's looking like she's looking golden crisp delish and i have the broccoli over here which i cooked and then i added some onion salt um i'll show you which one i added some of this onion salt from trader joe's it's delish and I'm going to add the chicken to the broccoli, and then I'm gonna add one of these, um, one of the sauce packets. The water's on deck, okay, we got the water on deck for the noodles, and yeah, that's good.
chicken broccoli and ramen dish. So delicious, so good, and pretty easy to make as well. It's lunchtime, and today I'm gonna have a nice little salad moment. I'm feeling a nice little health moment. I need some veggies. <sighs> Your girl needs some veggies for sure. So, all right, I'm gonna be having this onion kale slurry tritajos. I've heard some people say that this is really good. So there's kale, red cabbage, cauliflower, carrots, walnuts. Mm, I don't know about that. Parmesan cheese, caramelized onion, Dijon vinaigrette. And then I also got these, look how freaking adorable these little mini tomatoes are. I got these from Trader Joe's as well. I think I'm just gonna put like a whole thing in here. It's like super like slot. Like I was expecting for there to be more kale, but it's like, it's a lot of like slaw vibes going on, which isn't a bad thing. I thought I'd get, it. oh look, oh that's the money shot, oh my god. Wow, look at that. Also, look at my flowers. Oh my goodness, I love them. But here's the salad. I'll do a little... We'll see how this is. Try another bite. Mm. No, it's good. It's definitely a lot more like cabbagey than I'm used to because I like my salad with lots of like greens and like spinach. There's like a lot of like carrots and like slaw items, if that makes sense. It's not bad though, but it's not my favorite salad kit, but it's good. It's a good salad. With the additions of the with the addition of the tomatoes and the dried cran cranberries. It's a wholesome salad. Can't complain. I'm gonna eat this. Um, I'll see you guys either tomorrow or at dinner time if I whip something up delicious. Hi folks, we're back. I look exactly the same, if not worse. I've just been doing some homework, starting a paper. You know the vibes. Um, but it's dinner time. <laughs> it's dinner time. So for Dens, I am making some chicken thighs that I've just steamed and now I'm letting them go crispy. Okay. And then I'm gonna pair it with some rice. Pair it with some rice, get into it. Look at that, delicious. I just put some salt, some butter, and then I put a bunch of this um, sitar seasoning. In it, if you haven't tried it, peep it. It's from Fair Joe's. You can also get it uh, anywhere, and it's so good, super good. And I'm gonna have some falafel with it. I'm gonna pop these in the air fryer and see how they do. Um, I've heard lots of good things about these falafel from Trader Joe's. Never tried them. Kind of a small bag. I don't know why I was expecting like a huge bag, but I probably took like three of those, two or three of them. And I'm also, we do we do four course babies tonight. Okay. I'm gonna do some of these Cuban style black beans, also from Trader Joe's. Um, I haven't tried these yet, but there's a really good brand at Whole Foods that makes Cuban style black beans, and they're so freaking good, but they're a little bit pricey. So these are only 99 cents. I'm hoping that they're good. Um, and then I have 
some dips, of course. Ooh, what's that back there? I got this, I'm gonna pair it with some of this tabbouleh style hummus from Trader Joe's. Obviously, I just went to Trader Joe's because everything is from Trader Joe's. Uh, but this is oh, so good, so minty, so good. And then I have, let's see, let's back to I have a little bit of this tzatziki from Trader Joe, from Whole Foods, which is also bomb if you haven't tried it, get it. I only have a little bit left, but that's gonna be, that's the vibe for dinner. Dinner! So I just have, let's see. I've got my rice, chicken on top, and I've got my black beans, falafel. They actually turned out really small. I mean, it's not small, I don't know. I put some of the tzatziki, got some Nando's hot sauce on there, tabbouleh hummus, and got some pita, that'd be fire, but this is about to be, folks, this is about to be, it is lunchtime. Um, I'm just having a little a leftover moment. I had some leftover chicken and some linguine with Alfredo. So I'm doing a little chicken Alfredo leftover moment. Um, I didn't really film how I cooked it, but maybe one of these days I will. Not super hard. Obviously, I'm putting hot sauce on it. You can know the vibes, okay? And that is like my lunch. So I'm really happy. Okay, listen, I already cut it. You didn't get to see the beauty before I cut it. But this is the Nutella Bakery twist thing I was talking about with the puff pastry. So crispy. Look at that. It's been sitting for like. 10 minutes. I didn't wrap it the best because I like couldn't be bothered. But let's do a little taste test moment. We're doing lots of taste tests here today. Ready? Wait, this looks so good. Oh, <gasps> That's so good. This is my new favorite thing. Nutella. I stopped eating it because it's dangerous. It's addicting. Oh my god, this is so good. It's like crispy, flaky, buttery. So good. Um, I'm back on my taco delicious train and I also fried some plantains right there. Oh my gosh. Freaking love tacos. One day I'll include the recipe. But this is what I had for dinner tonight. There's chicken, there's rice, there's black beans, there's guac. I don't know if you can see the guac. The guac is there. There's cilantro. Oh, I'm also having a grapefruit Topo Chico. Pretty fire. 